Hello, everyone. This is Nelson Stevie of Denmark. Denmark, Denmark, guys. Welcome back to our channel. This is Nelson Stevie too, and we are going to. Ching, 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 ching. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, guys. We are going to the land of the rising sun, Japan. Again. Yeah. So once again, guys. Uh, what, by the way, guys, thank you. For, uh, I saw the news that you have this. And uh, also, hi, Mister. This also Yoroshiko. Yeah. I saw this news that um, you have uh, 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 earthquake. Big earthquake. Yeah. yeah. Uh, take care, guys. And uh, we just, uh, you know, we're just uh, following your, uh, you know, news in Denmark. So, well, in a way, we are going to make a reaction um, to this uh, top five things to do in Tokyo, Japan, because well, I hope one day we can travel in Japan. And one of our target is um, Tokyo. Last time we went to, we reacted Kyoto, Kyoto but uh, we will s uh, start with. Tokyo, Japan. So, well, in a way, let's get started. Tokyo is the capital of Japan, and with a population of nearly 40 million, also the largest Sophie? metropolis on Earth. In the middle of the greater Tokyo area is Tokyo Prefecture itself, and at its most populated core are 23 special wards, called Ku. Here you'll find Tokyo's multiple downtown areas, which are all connected by the JR Yamanote Line. From Tokyo Station, it's only a few hours by bullet train to several other major cities. Despite its size, or possibly because of it, Tokyo has developed into an extremely orderly city with a convenient and reliable public transportation system as well as a remarkably low crime rate. Although it has a high population density, it can feel surprisingly suburban or even rural once you venture away from the major railway stations. In the 16th century, Tokyo was a small castle town named Edo. It became the political center of the country when the shogun Tokugawa Ieyasu established his feudal <coughs> government here in 1603. And quickly, Every time I hear the shogun uh, word, I always remember you you were watching this <laughs> shogun uh, f uh, series. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I remember there was a town called Edo. Edo, okay. I was not aware that it became it, Tokyo it, later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Edo grew into the world's largest city, and at the end of the feudal period, after the Meiji Restoration in 1868, it was made the new capital of the country and renamed it Tokyo. The emperor's residence was moved from Kyoto to Tokyo, and the former grounds of Edo Castle were converted into the new imperial palace. Today, Tokyo is one of Japan's premier hubs for culture, cuisine, entertainment, and shopping, and also has countless historic temples, gardens, parks, landmarks, and museums. Here are our Top 5 Recommendations in Tokyo Number 5. Akihabara Also called Akiba, in the last few decades the Akihabara district has emerged as a center for anime, manga, and video game otaku culture in Ooh, Japan. This is, it has dozens sure, of specialty I'm stores. I'm sure we will go to this street. <laughs> this yeah. is very interesting because you love games and uh, there's many interesting things we can find here is selling everything from figurines to collectible trading cards to retro Ooh. video games. There are also several multi-floor arcades, called game centers, as well as maid cafes and other themed restaurants. On Sunday afternoons, Chuo Dori, the main street of the area, is closed to car traffic so pedestrians are free to walk anywhere they like. Another nickname for the Akihabara district is Electric Town because of the many electronic shops here, ranging from large Ooh, department this stores. Is and this is definitely <laughs> definitely for us because we love electronics. I really, I really love it. The latest technology to small stalls selling computer components. Okay. Number four, Meiji Shrine and the surrounding areas. A few minutes walk from Harajuku Station is the famous Meiji Shrine and its forested grounds. Completed in 1920, the shrine itself is dedicated to the late Emperor Meiji and his consort Empress Shoken. Ruling from 1867 to 1912, Meiji was the first emperor of modern Japan. During the Meiji period, the country transitioned from being an isolated feudal nation to becoming an industrialized world power. The shrine's grounds are a peaceful oasis amid the densely built up city. Together with neighboring Yoyogi Park, this forested area of Tokyo provides an excellent place to escape the busy city. 
Near Meiji Shrine are several other worthwhile areas to explore. Just across the street is Harajuku, which is known as the center of teenage culture in Japan. Here you'll find the famous Takeshita Dori Shopping Street, as well as the elegant Omote Sando Avenue, which has many high-end shopping options and is the main approach to Meiji Shrine. Mm -hmm. Lastly, Meiji Shrine is only one stop from Shibuya. The Shibuya district is famous for its shopping and is generally regarded as the capital of young fashion in Japan. This is also where you'll find the legendary Shibuya Scramble pedestrian crossing where up to 3,000 people <laughs> will cross. Yes, I heard, I, I saw this. I always say this, yeah, and I, uh, you know, we're friends, we're, you know, I have friends uh, living in Japan and they have uh, a YouTube friends. They always show this uh, Shibuya traffic. Okay. Yeah. So amazing, you know, this. Many people. Number three, Shinjuku. Shinjuku is a lively entertainment and business district known for being one of Japan's premier nightlife spots. During the Edo era, it used to be located outside the city center and was the first rest stop along the Koshu Kaido, which was one of the five major trade highways at the time. Since then, Tokyo has expanded and Shinjuku has become one of its multiple major downtown areas. Handling over three and a half million passengers every day, Shinjuku Station has become the busiest train station in the world. To the west of the station is the Skyscraper District, where many of Tokyo's tallest buildings are located. Among these is the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Office Building, which has free observation decks on the 45th floor of each tower that provide unique views of the city. On the east side of Shinjuku Station is the Nightlife District. Here you'll find endless dining, shopping, and entertainment options. A few popular places to explore are Kabukicho, with its restaurants, bars, wild nightlife, and neon lights. Omoide Yokocho, with its network of alleyways and tiny eateries, and Golden Guy, which has over 200 small bars and unique restaurants. I was thinking, Finally, for uh, how, how, how can you survive, you know, going to Japan and the food? <laughs> He's, uh, Mr. Nelson is uh, uh, very uh, keen with the food, and he's um, he's not fan of uh, seafoods and. Uh, and also you nah, have a diabetic. I'm not sure they have uh, good meat. Yeah, I think they have a very also. good meat. Also, Japanese. Uh, I, I heard this very, very good meat. Uh, yeah, if, I don't yeah. remember its name yeah. right now. But yeah, I heard it too. Yeah, it's very, very good, and it's only found uh, can only find in Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this was also interesting. But uh, I really love to want to eat all these uh, seafoods and uh, all this sushi I wanted. <laughs> yeah, to change your pace in the Shinjuku area, about a 10 minute walk east of Shinjuku Station is Shinjuku Gyoen, which is a large and beautiful park which contains three different themed gardens. Number 2. Asakusa One of the best districts to experience old-fashioned Tokyo is historical Asakusa. Located in the center of an area traditionally known as Shitamachi, this was the part of the city generally inhabited by common townspeople during the Edo era. The main attraction in Asakusa is Sensoji Temple. Completed in the 7th century, it is one of Tokyo's oldest and most popular Buddhist temples. Leading up to the main temple building is the iconic gate Kaminari Mon and Nakamise Shopping Street, which is lined with vendors people. selling local specialty items mm -hmm. and souvenirs. Crossing Nakamise Street I was is Denbuin Street. It's also which interesting is here. You can find, you know, it's, uh, you know, we like going, uh, buying uh, uh, old stuff, uh, you know. Yes, yes probably, yes. Uh, yeah. Maybe stamps? Yeah. <laughs> Designed to look like a street from the Edo era. For food, west of Sensoji Temple is Hopi Street, which is a 70 to 80 meter long street that has a nostalgic charm and is lined with izakaya serving Japanese pub food. Ooh. About 15 minutes west of Asakusa, near Ueno, is Kapabashi Street. This unique street has dozens of specialty stores selling everything needed by restaurant operators except for food. From pots and pans to dishes to plastic Ooh, food samples, plastic. this street has it all and is an interesting place Ooh, to walk. A day in Asakusa could easily be combined with a stroll along the Sumida River and a visit to nearby Tokyo Skytree, Japan's tallest structure. Mm -hmm. Number one, food. This is what I love. Mm. As a city, Tokyo has received the most Michelin stars of any city in the world and offers an amazing range of dining opportunities. Of course, like every region of Japan, you can find local specialty cuisine items, such as nigiri zushi, tempura, soba, chankonabe, and monjayaki, to name a few. However, because people <laughs> I was from all of- nothing of them is- <laughs> 
<laughs> or I think this smell looks delicious it's to me. It's called uh, Kobe, Kobe or something. Kobe meat. Yeah, oh. Kobe meat. Kobe. Yeah. yeah, I think I heard it. Yeah, yeah. I think. Maybe. Yeah. But Kobe. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, we will probably will show it here. But all those uh, those you just showed it is very looks good over Japan have been relocated to the capital for hundreds of years. It's also possible to find authentic regional food from all across the country in Tokyo. I could eat that. Similarly, the city has become the home of a wide variety of international communities which have brought their local cuisine with them. As a result, Tokyo has become an excellent destination for finding a broad range of Italian food high quality international food. There are even several districts mm. with concentrated ethnic specialties, such as Koreatown in Shin Okubo, oh, Little France one. in Kagurazaka. So you and have Chinatown. to choose there's always you know there's uh, they, they have different streets where you can Yeah yeah but I think I would need to try this yeah. uh, Japanese real real Japanese food if yeah. I am in Japan. Yeah so that so. is a good idea because we, if you're in Japan you have to try this mm. is one and uh, maybe this is will be our last or first or last time we will, if we were going to visit yes. Japan yeah and if I want to try everything if I can't <laughs> if I can't eat any of that I, I, I maybe I will eat out here <laughs> I will I want to try the Korea town uh, Chinatown is not so uh, I always eat Chinatown but I think Korea is uh, um, Ikebukuro, yeah. it's safe to say there are dining establishments to accommodate all tastes and budgets in Tokyo you could easily spend several weeks exploring Tokyo and not experience everything. But we hope this top five list gives you a good place to start. For more information about any of the places yeah. mentioned in this video. Okay, that was it. Hmm? That was so interesting. And uh, the first yes, one. Yes, and we didn't even got, get got to what's Disney World or Disneyland, what's it called? Over there. Yeah, oh yeah. In Tokyo. Yeah. And that's why. We might go to Tokyo. Yeah. So I think Tokyo. I was done, but then it has to be really yeah, soon. I really hope. We really hope that uh, we could travel. Uh, Japan will soon open for tourists. Mm. Yeah, because it's one of our dream to travel to Japan. This is also. It would the be nice if it could be this summer, but otherwise we will <laughs> have so, to see yeah. when it will be possible. Yeah. So that was really interesting and that's why it's very important that it's, it's so nice you know watching videos and uh, before traveling the, there and no, we know that okay there's a street with uh, all these electronics and we have already an idea mm. what to what yes. to do and we're a lot of electronics and where to eat and we're because we're thinking that you know what food to eat and it's very helpful to you know to have knowledge what to do in Tokyo. Mm. Yes yeah. I'm not so, so afraid of going to Tokyo now. Yeah. <laughs> the, the food. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it's so interesting. So for uh, the owner of this video called Japan-Guide.com, thank you for this amazing informative video. So good. And uh, I think we will watch more some of your video because it's very interesting. And we're looking to forward to learn more about Japan, not just Tokyo, Japan. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, well, anyway, guys, thank you for watching our action video. And always take care for this uh, earthquake. I hope you're okay, all of you guys. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Bye-bye. Sayonara.